Hi there, I'm Adam McDermott and welcome to Platinum Journey, where I document the highs and lows of getting a Platinum Trophy in some brilliant games. This episode is all about one of the best comic book adaptions ever made, Batman Arkham Asylum, a game which I have never beaten. So let's look at the abundance of trophies I'll have to get. Before going for the Platinum, I had 10 out of 28 Bronze, 1 out of 18 Silver, and still needed the Soul Gold Trophy. That is a hefty 36 trophies to unlock. Three of the Bronze are story related, four more for solving riddles, six for earning medals in challenge rooms, one for stringing up a henchman and dropping him to surprise a fellow criminal, one for catching a batarang, one for majestically gliding 100 meters, and the final bronze trophy, called Party Pooper, is missable. Towards the end of the game, a bunch of thugs will be celebrating my arrival at a party, and I must knock out all of them before proceeding. Otherwise, I will have to replay the majority of the game to get back to this point as Batman Arkham Asylum uses auto-saving. Hey, someone help Bat Baby up off the floor! As for the 17 silver trophies, 3 are for beating the game on easy, medium and hard, 5 are story related, 3 are for completing the remaining riddles, 2 for doing a 40 move combo, 2 for getting even more medals in the challenge rooms, and the final silver trophy is for performing a perfect combo using all of Batman's moves. Don't have hit you, you idiot. The one and only gold trophy is for finishing the story, solving all 240 riddles, and earning 24 medals in the combat and predator challenges. So basically 100%ing the game. My plan of action is to play through the game on hard and make sure to get the missable trophy, then tackle the riddles, and finally move on to the difficult and time-consuming challenge rooms. There is a lot to do, so sit back, relax, and come with me on my platinum journey for Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh, this is much comfier than the feckin' chair I was using before. Nice and soft. Okay, and away we go. The premise of Batman Arkham Asylum is Batman has apprehended the Joker for, well, technically launching an attack on Gotham City Hall, but really his crime could just be being the Joker. Anyway, Batman brings him to Arkham Asylum, a place which detains the criminally insane. Unfortunately, getting captured was part of Joker's plan, as Harley Quinn springs him loose after taking over the security controls. Joker is on the loose among a bunch of inmates who are not too fond of Batman, some of whom have personally been on the losing end of the Dark Knight's vigilante justice. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman! I set a trap and you sprang it glow! The Joker has also planted bombs all over Gotham City which will detonate if anyone else enters the asylum. Batman must capture the Joker once again without any assistance, while being surrounded by deranged and violent criminals who want nothing more than to see him suffer. So an average Tuesday night for Batman. Playing on hard wasn't too challenging. I was able to make it past the majority of encounters in one try. The first real test came against everyone's favourite steroid abuser, Bane. After several failed attempts, I realised I was making the fight way more demanding than it needed to be. 
by simply throwing a batarang at Bane as he charged towards me, I would temporarily blind him, giving me an opportunity to land a mighty combo, as well as cutting off his supply of muscle juice. With my health waning, I waited for the perfect opportunity and... <laughs> that was close down to my last bit of health. Literally, my health is so low that if Batman tripped over a stone, I'd be dead. Or if he stubbed his toe. Or if he bit into something that was a bit too crunchy. So far I was almost three hours in and hadn't unlocked a single trophy. Enter unmissable story trophy to break the silence. You heard. Huh? As this playthrough was primarily about beating the game on hard, any additional trophies picked up were a bonus, like getting a 20 hit combo, finding a Riddler challenge map which highlights Riddle locations on my area map, and I got some more story trophies which I won't spoil. However, I was on the lookout for the one missable trophy, Party Pooper. After 10 hours of playtime, it was in sight. I must defeat these four guys outside before taking on the other 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, Melevendi inside. The only thing left to do in this playthrough is fight the final boss. So spoiler warning, you can skip to the time code if you don't want to see it. I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So Showtime, Batman! Let's do the room something to talk about! Is it the boys? I've softened them up for you. Crap! Look at that hurt! Done! This feckin' camera angle. It's so low down that I can't tell if guys are within range to hit me and I should counter them or if I can ignore them and continue my combo. It's bloody annoying. Despite the awkward camera angle, I defeated the goons and put an end to Joker's rampage. I can take it. I can take anything you throw at me, bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. GCPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. Uh, not a great ending. Does the job, I suppose. But pretty good game overall. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't yet played Batman Arkham Asylum, I'd say pick it up. I don't know why I didn't finish it all those years ago, I just played it for the first hour, maybe two, and then forgot about it. But pretty happy I 
went back and finished out the rest of the game, it's well worth playing. And now on to the dreaded Riddler challenges. All 240 of them. I hate these type of trophies. I hate, it's just, it's just mindless busy work. A lot of these things are just picking up a, like a little object. And that's a riddle, you're picking up an object. And it has no value. And then the other things are riddles, which I just don't care for. Why 240? Why not 20? You know, make them 20 really good ones. It's a good thing I'm in a comfy chair because I'm going to be sitting here going through all this crap for quite a while. Quite a while indeed. Solving these riddles involves first picking up a riddle location map for each area, then going to the marked points, trying to figure out which fecking riddle I am near, and through mostly trial and error, solve it. Or, if you are someone like me who detests these type of trophies and don't like to waste any more time than absolutely necessary, find a video guide on YouTube and solve all the riddles as fast and with as little frustration as possible. Trophies popped as I progressed and towards the end, Batman figures out where the Riddler is staying... somehow, and forwards the information to Gotham Police Department. That was quite a funny ending. At least it softens the blow of having to spend the last few hours doing busy work. <sighs> and now I can move on to something a bit more stimulating, the challenge rooms. Whoa, not so fast, Adam. You forgot about catching a Batarang. And gliding 100 meters. Marvelous. Now you may continue. 16 challenge rooms in total. Four normal difficulty combat rooms which then have to be beaten on extreme difficulty. And four normal difficulty predator rooms which also have to be beaten again on extreme. For the combat rooms, I need to earn three medals by beating a high score. Points are given for long combos, variety in attack, not being hit, essentially being really good at kicking ass. The Predator rooms focus on stealth with three objectives to complete. Each one is worth a medal. In order to unlock the Platinum, I must get all three medals in every single challenge room. Don't get too cocky, Batman! I'll get you next time. First, I dove into the normal difficulty combat rooms and signs of impending frustration were evident. Oh boy, huh, <laughs> I have to get 18,000, I got 8, I'm not even close, do it again. This is the theme of the combat challenge rooms, repetition. The first one took 4 retries, not so bad, the second took 37. Oh, what a relief. Not that for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. The third room, Shock and Awe, puts a timer on each round. When it expires, the floor is electrocuted. Batman dies, and I must restart with my score not being registered. So even if I earn enough points for all three medals, I won't get 
any of them. Shock and awe proved too much for me to handle. <sighs> Not that. Let's try something else. Oh, my brain is fried. <sighs> Let's try these predator challenges. The predator challenge rooms were a welcomed delight. I could go at my own pace, pick off targets from the shadows, and enjoy the thrill of being Batman. I was having such a good time that I went ahead and finished all eight Predator Challenge Rooms. Only six combat rooms stand between me and the Platinum. First on the list, Revisiting Shock and Awe. After a mere three hours of struggling, I somehow, possibly by divine intervention, beat it. <laughs> what a fucking miracle. I spent... Oh my god, I don't... I, at this point I lost time. I lost... I, I don't even know how long on this one room. It was three hours. I checked the footage. And that's only the third one. And there's still five more to go, four of which are the extreme versions of the ones I'm doing now. So if I spent all this time on this one, and now I gotta do it on extreme in a little bit, and uh, that's probably gonna take another fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. These challenge rooms are going to take me longer to do than the actual game itself on hard. Playing through the entire story on hard is going to take less time than these challenge rooms. On I ventured. Challenge room after challenge room as seconds turned into minutes and minutes turned into hours. It is so fucking late. <laughs> the rest of the house are in bed asleep and I'm here still playing Batman Arkham Asylum. I'm not, I, I can't go to bed until I finish this. Like, I won't even be able to sleep. I'll just be thinking of fucking combos. <laughs> I'll be dreaming about these bloody challenge rooms. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just press on. Fucking brilliant! One final challenge room. As you might have guessed, it is shock and awe on extreme. Here we fucking go. Fuck me. I just, I just, I don't, like I just lose concentration at some point. Alright, 15,000 after round two is pretty good. Three rounds down. Total score, 22,000. If I hit 30,000 on the fourth and final round, I will earn all three medals and the Platinum Trophy. No, you fuck. I had it. 2969. Five. Literally, that round ends, I get the three medals, I get the trophies, and I'm done. Oh. Okay, it's gotta be faster. Fucking bollocks. After several more tries, I found myself in an odd situation after round three. 29, 9, okay. Don't 
Do I actually have to beat the challenge or will that do? Okay, okay, okay. Get past this last round without dying. Kill everyone in time. And that's it. <laughs> yes, oh my god. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. I've been up all fucking night doing this and it is finished. <sighs> my hands are shaking. <laughs> the stress and the concentration for that last round. My advice don't do challenge rooms. Don't do riddles. The main game is brilliant. Do that. Play it on normal, play it on hard. And then stop. Maybe do the predator challenges. But don't do the combat challenges. They're not worth it. They will drive you mad. <sighs> Finished. <laughs> I can um I can go to sleep now. And I can tell you afterwards, I slept like a baby. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and until next time, take care.